Good evening, everyone! My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to the Pixels list. It's all of the games from the movie Pixel. If you hadn't, didn't see the thing from yesterday... By the way, I have to apologize. Yesterday I said um, that it was Space Invaders and I showed a clip. It was not. It was uh, Galaga. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, for some reason, thought it was... Never mind. I'm not going to apologize for it. It was fun. Anyhow, um, we're back and today the second game on the Pixels video game. Oh my gosh, hold on. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Okay, so the second one on the, the list is called Pac-Man. And if you don't know who Pac-Man is, oh my gosh, it's it's one of the amazing games. Um, so in this particular scene in the movie, um, they are all in their own cars, which is supposed to be Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde, um, which is kind of funny because the first three didn't rhyme, and then the last was like Clyde, and it was just, anyhow. The creator of, um, of Pac-Man actually made a cameo inside the movie. You will see. Okay, I can't show too much, otherwise I get the copyright strikes and everything else like that. Anyhow, they have to fa face off and battle him. Um, one of the guys uses a speed hack, which he also used back in like 1980s, whenever he was doing the competition, to cheat and take over, uh, to, to win in, in Donkey Kong and in Pac-Man. Anyhow, he gets caught doing the same thing here, which I don't really understand how he used a speed hack in reality and sped up his car that's little physics it just it doesn't work anyhow um <laughs> i'm not here to pick it apart um i found it over here on retrogames.cc forward slash arcade games slash pac-man midway one this is the midway version this is not the galaga pac-man combo cabinet that you see in in the, from the past and i will turn the sound down this time because you guys were complaining you're like oh my gosh it's so loud code uh again uh just playing with the website playing with a xbox 360 controller hooked up via bluetooth and i thought the code was left right left right up 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 fire and then insert coin but i could be wrong oh it's not inserting coin ah select inserts coin and start is player one button <laughs> And off we go. Just like that. Uh, the one thing that I do remember about Pac-Man is their, the turning on this thing was very glitchy. Now, you might notice I'm not eating the big ones yet because I'm trying to go for that power play with as many points as possible. Um, that's where you wait for the ghosts to all gather around and kind of get close together so you can eat them all up at one time because that is the only possible way to get the maximum score which is... Come on, get him, get him! Oh, I missed one! No! Is by getting all the power pills and eating all the ghosts at one time. Now, the ghosts themselves... Whoa! Have patterns to them, which you can usually figure out. Um, three of them have, like, a standard set of, set of patterns. One of them follows the same direction that Pac-Man goes. Another one will chase Pac-Man. Uh, the third one will... Uh, I think he goes in the opposite direction depending on the sound. Whoa! No! No! Oh, they knew it too! They slowed down just to be like, ha ha, we got you. And if I had just eaten the power pill at the very beginning, I wouldn't have to worry about that, so... <clears throat> Anyhow, um, in the game Ready Player One, this was actually one of the hidden Easter eggs. Uh, not in the game, in the book, Ready Player One. Um, he found an old school um, replication of an arcade called Happy Time Pizza, created by John Halliday, um, that contained an out of order Pac Man game. Well, why in the world would you recreate an out of order? Pac-Man game inside a virtual world where anything's possible. So, that's when, oh gosh, Wade Watts, the hero of the story, 
finds a quarter on the console, which usually meant next person is waiting to play the game, and they're putting their quarter up on the glass. Whoa! No, at the last second! <sighs> Anyhow, that quarter stuck, blah blah blah. Sorry, I'm gonna give away spoilers because Ready Player One's been out for a while, and we're getting ready for Ready Player Two to come out uh, in September, I think? Something like that? So, um, anyhow, he had to beat the high score, which was like 800 points away from perfect game. And the perfect game is near impossible. Um, you, oh gosh. <laughs> See, like right now, I would have already restarted because there's no way I would have gotten into it right now. Uh, the perfect game is every power pill, every fruit, every possible ghost attack. Oh gosh. They had me. They had me trapped. Oh, okay. Let's just do it again. And I'm not sure that this is the actual arcade version. Okay, the high score on this one is 13,770. You get 10 points per um, pellet. Not power pill. The power pills are the big one. How much do you get for a power pill? I don't remember. Anyhow, if you can get all the ghosts, it's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Did you guys see how I glitched around him? That's because he moved at the same time I moved in an opposite direction. There are little glitches like that all through the game. And one of the biggest glitches is the notorious junk field. Uh... So as you progress through the levels, there are 255 levels, meaning, uh, oh god, oh my god, I'm talking too much, I'm not concentrating, uh, 255 levels, that's the highest value that you can get. Now in the game's memory, um, that value is held by what's called a uh, hexadecimal value, so it can be anywhere from 00, zero to FF. Zero meaning like the first level, or zero one would be the number one. And it counts zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, which represents the values zero through 15. Um, then once you get to like one zero, that's actually the value of 16. One zero represents 16, one one equals 17, one two equals 18, and so forth. So it, once you get to level, um, 255, alright, that is FF, when it goes to the next level, it adds a level to it, it actually leaks memory, and half of the screen becomes junk. It just becomes part of the code. Now, inside that code, there are still nine pellets that you can get. So in order to get the perfect score, you have to travel into that junk field, collect all Oh, gosh. Collect all of those hidden pellets, and then, yeah, the pellets. And then, uh, commit pack aside. <laughs> you have to run your Pac-Man into one of the ghosts, and make sure that it's the first time that you've done so. You have to have all of your lives, because once it resets, those pellets over in the junk field will reappear. And I'll see if I can't find a video of it. I, I would love to show you guys uh, a version. Do I have a pause button on here? I think I've got a pause. Is this level two? I think this is level two. Anyhow, I have never played a perfect game and I've never been to the junk field or the garbage field. Whoa! Get away from me! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to worry about getting the ghost. I'm just going to get the pellets and run. Whoa. Don't worry about the ghost. Just go get the pellets. Get the pellets. Get the pellets. Get the pellets. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? No! <sighs> oh gosh, it's the last part of the level. Got the, got the loud siren going. Okay, there we go. 
7,000. So, if I got 7,000 in the first two levels... Here comes the big Pac-Man. Okay, them, buddy! Oh, that's, that's 10 minutes. Wow! I did not realize I had just recorded 10 minutes of this. <laughs> Talk about losing track of time. Now, after level 13, even if you get a power pill, the ghosts don't change colors, so you can't really get them for your score anymore unless it's like a split second after you... Oh, really? Really, Clyde? Oh, also there's these things called patterns. So, like, you can hide your your um, Pac-Man in a certain area, but it has to be a certain version of the game. It has to be everything else. So, um, hang tight. I want to see if I can't pause this for a second. All right, I did find it. It's over here. Uh, the Glitch Gamer. He has 384 subscribers, but uh, this thing has had 176,000 views. It was posted back in 2017. So... Um, if you look over here on the right-hand side, these um, are the glitch. After that level, 255 or whatever it's called, uh, it goes into level 256. Memory leaks into the actual play screen. And here we can see him play. Hold on. I might turn this down a little bit. Anyhow, you have to realize that the, the one side... Oh, come on. <laughs> the numbers represent actual, like, oh my gosh, I just had a bug fly in my nose. <laughs> Not in my nose. Anyhow, this is the glitch screen. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys go and do your own research and check it out and stuff like that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. This has been Pac-Man on the Pixels list. Me playing old retro arcade games, having fun, reminiscing, and just loving life. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. 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 It didn't sound right. Outro.